Hello, this video is designed to show faculty how to track a student's progress in Brightspace by D2L. There are several places a faculty member might look to track a student's progress. The first place is in the class progress area. This is where um, the instructor can see the student's logins, content viewed, activities completed, all for an individual specific student. They might also look in the class list area, which is where they can see the most recent date in which each student has logged into the specific course. They may also look at the completion summary, which is in the content area, and this is uh, where the instructor will see which students have viewed a specific content item. The first area that a teacher might look is in the user progress area. You can get to that by logging into your course and going to the course administration area. From there, you want to look for class progress. This used to actually be called user progress. From here, you're able to see a listing of all of your students in the course. You're able to see the percentage of the content that they've viewed, and then you're able to see any logins that they've had to the course, as well as their grades. And notice if you kind of scroll over these, you can see the individual grade items, um, but it also kind of gives you a bar graph to see generally how they're progressing or not. To look at more information about the student, you can actually click on their name. And then on the side, you can look at more specific uh, information as to what they did specifically in regards to content, discussions, assignments, etc. So looking on the summary tab, you see the percentage, um, you see their current grade, um, and you see those, uh, their individual grades here. As you scroll down, you can see more information about the content that they visited, the discussions, assignments, etc or you can click specifically on the tab on the left panel to look more into that specific area. So in this case, when we're looking at content, this uh, student has looked at 10 content topics of the 365 uh, topics in the course. They've had 22 unique visits to the content area and have spent a total of an hour and 57 minutes into the, in, in this particular course. Um, scrolling down, we can see what they've completed and what percentage that they've looked at. So for example, in the Start Here module, um, there are 17 pieces of uh, content items and they've viewed one of those and if we expand this out we can see specifically what they've looked at so they've never visited um, any of these but they did look at this particular one they visited it twice for a total of 26 seconds and then their last view was on this date and time Here's another example. So they've looked at all of the content items in Unit 2. These are the two items in there. They visited each once for a total of three minutes and a total of nine minutes. And then these are the dates um, in which they have completed them. And this link is actually a discussion. So if I click on it, it will actually take me into the discussion area. And show me specifics related to it. By looking at the activities area, you'll see more specific data as to what they've completed or not. So for example, looking at the quizzes area, we see um, that the percentage that they've completed, and then you're able to see which, quiz, which quizzes they've taken and what they've scored, as well as any quizzes they have not attempted yet. Something similar in the assignments area, we're able to see um, the assignments that they have submitted. We're able to see specifically the files that they submitted to that specific assignment area. Um, and if this has been graded, we're able to see their grade, their feedback, and their rubric. Under the course access area, we're able to see um, the dates in which they've last logged into the this particular course within the last um, 30 days. Then we have our login history. And then this will show the dates in which they've logged in to the system as well as the specific um, times. Then we have our system access history and then this will show um, when they've most recently logged into the system itself, so D2L in general, not necessarily your specific course. 
So for this area, um, which is the class progress area, it's more or less designed for you to delve pretty deep into specifically what a an individual student has accessed. A quick way to see the last time the student has logged into your course is looking at the class list area. So if you go to tools and resources in class list, you'll be able to see a, um, a, a row here that will list the last date and time the student has accessed your course. So this is the latest date and time. If something, um, if, if you have a blank here, that means that they've never accessed the course. Keep in mind this is just the most recent time. This isn't the only time. So if you want more specifics as to how many times or on what dates have they accessed the course other than this one, you would want to look um, in the user progress area where we were just a minute ago. Another uh, way to look at um, or, or think about user progress is to see what content, what students have looked at a specific content item. So while the user progress focus or the course progress focuses more on individual students, the course completion area focuses more on who's looked at just one piece of content. So you can find this by going to the content area and then you would find the piece of content that you want to determine if and how, mu how many students have viewed the, that file. So for example, in the content area, I might be interested in knowing what students have viewed this Real Numbers web page. So I can click on the link, and then if I scroll to the bottom, I will see a completion summary area. If I click on that, I'll see a listing of all the students in the course, and I'll be able to see no activity means that they have not ever clicked on this link or viewed this item. Um, if they have viewed it, it will give a check mark and it will tell you the most recent time in which that they viewed it. So this doesn't necessarily tell me they might have viewed it more than once, but this is the most recent time in which they viewed it. And of course you can, um, you can filter this by if you're only wanting to look at people who haven't viewed it or if you're only wanting to look at people who have viewed it or if you want to look at everyone. But this is a way to see who's looked at a specific piece of content while the class progress area under the course administration area um, is designed to show you more specifically all the things that an individual student has done in the course.